Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with Yunus Shafiri. In this video, we are going to see how you can request permissions in Android application when you are using Jetpack Compose. Let's get started. So here, as always, I have simple Jetpack Compose application here we used previously. So what we are going to do, we are going to show two ways on how to request permissions. One is the normal way with just simple contracts and the other one with a company's library. Let's get started. So first of all, let's have this on click here. Let's change that. And that's, for example, request the camera permission. Camera permission. And first, of course, should add it to the manifest. So here I have the manifest one and I will add permission for that. So it will be permission, camera, I think. No, not permission. Let's use this permission. This one, name which is camera, for example. That's the first thing we need to do, of course. And then you can request it. Now, the first way, as I told you, we use launchers. So the way to use it in Compose is just to remember activity launcher. So the way to do it is simply to remember, remember launcher for activity result, this one. And here we give this contract. The contract will be request permission, right? This request permission come from activity result contract, which means if you do act, TVT result contract and here you will see all of them you will see request permission there is multiple permissions if you have many in one flow or you can do that and here of course this will be the object like that and here we have the result here it will be simple boolean right so here it will be like I don't know you can just swap some text in here or something first of all let's do that let's do it following way var is camera permission granted it will be by remembering some mutable state remember so we will import that remembering function and the getters and setters that's one thing and here let's yeah let's add this one it, it is true or false is granted like that and when we get the result in here if it is it so here if it is granted we will simply do, or yeah, maybe we can assign it directly. Well, I want to log something here. It's granted, and here, if it is the case, what we will simply do, we will change this is camera to is granted, which will, which will be true. But here, for the first time, it will be always false. We need to check that. We need to check if the permission is provided, and based on that, we will set the initial value. Well, first of all, we will do that. If the is camera permission, if it is not, right? If it is not granted, what we will do, we will use, well, here I should store it in some variable, launcher like that, and use that launcher to launch. The input string will be just the camera string. What we can do here simply is just to use the following. We use manifest and use this Android dot permission dot camera okay which will be just simple string and to launch it. so if it is not granted we will launch it and if it is the case we will update that this will be like a compose thing it will observe it so it will change it will change basically this one well you can use it to change this one or to completely swap this screen to another screen that would work fine yeah what is happening here constant conditions yeah this i want to change this into something else but first let's run the application so here is our app which camera permission false. If we click on it, it will show us a lower room to record picture and video. I will say while using this app, it will become true. Okay, now if I launch it again, here is a problem. It will be false the first time. And if we click on it, well, guess what? It will give me that dialogue again. But we already requested that permission and we have granted it. So we need to change this initial value to something else. So for that, we are going to create check camera permission or check permission based on some permission based on some stuff like our function here that will turn us a bully check permission for yeah just create this function this will return a boolean right so here we do have function from the context compact i think yeah which called check self permission we will give it this context and permission we want here the permission we should pass it from here or let's write it here okay it will be permission and we should import that or create parameter for this function it will be a string refactor it 
and this this function will give us an int. So this int is like for internal purposes, not internal purposes, you can check it. We can return if this one from the package manager, right? We can check for permission exactly. Granted. If its value is as you can see, it will be just a simple int. If value is granted, it will be true, otherwise it will be false. We can refactor that to use single expression body like that. You move that. This is our function. You can go furthermore and import static this one. And you have this function here. So we need to pass this. Our permission will be this one. So we need to refactor it to be camera permission. And we can use it up in here. That would work fine. And then we can pass this one here since we are passing it in two places. I know I'm just passing one value. So let it be. So here in the next time, if I run the app again, now the camera is already there. So here, as you can see, I did nothing. It is just basically true. Here we are just recomposing. So you can go to another screen, do something else, display another composable, any, anything you want. So this is perfectly fine. If you want, like if you want to revoke the permission, I suggest using, I use, where is it? ADB idea. So I want to revoke permission. I can revoke permission at this start. I will do that. And the app here will be false, as you can see. As you can see, I did nothing. I just used that plugin. It is a great plugin. You can type the command yourself, but this is fine. So here I will request again. I will be this one. It will be true. I can go outside the app and start it again. And you will see it will be simply true. So this is the first way you can use this activity result contract with simply activity result contract with remembering the launcher and you can grant permission. You can use this one or you can use multiple permission and it will work in the same way. Now here, I don't think it will return this one. The result here, yeah, let me just go back here. The result here is a map between a string and Boolean's. So the map will be, let's rename it to a map. String Boolean map anyways, it's just a simple name, come on. So here, if you want to check if all the permissions, like if all the permissions are granted, here for the map, you can loop over the map and check if all the Booleans are true. You can do that with, well, here the values are simply Booleans. I can reduce them to something like accumulator and B, okay, which is the Boolean. I'm sure this collection wouldn't be empty since I'm passing because if, the, if it is empty, it will throw an exception, I think. Yeah, it will throw an exception, yeah, and support exception, right? So that way you can use the fault, but I'm pretty sure that I'm, I will be checking one permission or two. And this value will be is granted. You can use this type of function and it will work fine. Okay, so yeah, you can use that. And here simply for the launcher, I think, yeah, exactly, you need to pass list of. I think it's a list of, let me check. Yeah, array, ah, an array. Okay, so it will be an array of, like that. And you can pass the different permissions and it would work just fine. That's the first thing you are going to use now, the accompanist library in order to check, like there is an experimental feature on requesting permissions, let's check it. First, of course, we have to add the accompanist library thing for the permissions. We will go to build.gradify here. So here's the dependency we need for the accompanist library for the permissions. It is syncing. Let's wait for it. And let's see how we can use it. So the, basically the way to use it, well, here, as you can see, we are remembering some state for the permission. This is done out of the box by the accompanist library. What we need to do is to simply remember permission state and we need to pass permission state or we need to pass permission and it will be this one and here yeah exactly it will be like that and a company see exactly it's an experimental api so we do that here yeah okay let me just align that or let's remove that so here it will be let's say camera permission state well a lot of stuff won't work here so here for the camera permission state what we need to do we need to know if it is granted or not from directly from here, you can check that. Well, here you can delete that. It's not needed anymore. This can be, yeah, it will be a bar like that. And then what we can do is simply check if the camera permission state, guess what? You can check the status and here is granted. Now I want to do the negation here. And if it is not, I can use that camera state here. I'm going just to launch the permission request, as you can see. Here, if you do the control Q, check the documentation, request the permission of the user, this should always be triggered from non-composable scope, from like side effect or non-composable callback, 
Here, this is a non-composable callback because you are on the, on the click. I can remove that. And basically here, I can do dot here and choose the status in order to check if it is granted or not. And it will be exactly the same. Now I need just to restart the application with this one. So I'll get to ADB and I should revoke and permission and restart the application. Yeah, let me just compile it again. So here is our application now and let's do camera permission, allow it, it will be true. If you exit the app and then run it again, it will be simply true here because we are like that. So this will simplify the code much, much better. Just remember that this one need to be, need to be run from non-composable scope like here is the thing. If you do it here, that's just request in the beginning and let's run it. It will run and then it will crash. If you go in here, you will see the following. Yeah, let me just wrap that. I have many, many stuff in here. So here, if you get, if you check the error, you will see the following error. Okay, illegal activity rational, activity result rational cannot be null. Like, like this is the illegal state exception they were talking about. So here, if you want to use it from a composable, part so what you need to do is the following use lash effect like that yeah with the unit key for example and yeah simply close that block and use trailing lambda like the following and move it here that would work fine let me just run the application again and like revoke permission and restart the app so it will be false at the beginning as you can see we did nothing we didn't click anything because that would run at the beginning so it will be true at the beginning so this is the way on how to use a company's library to like get permissions remember them in a composable fashion and launch them as i said if you are from a callback here you can use it easily it's not a composable callback otherwise use them with some side effect manner like Jetpack Compose provide a lot of those side effects. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.